Let's look at the Bohr model in more detail in order to understand the existence of line spectra. Electrons in an atom occupy orbits or shells, which are at fixed distances from the nucleus. As the radius of each orbit increases, so does the energy of the electron. Each orbit is assigned a principal quantum number n, which can be 1, 2, 3, etc., depending on its radius. The maximum number of electrons that can fill each orbit is 2n squared. Thus, the first orbit can have two electrons at most, the second can have eight, and so on. The greater the value of n, the greater the energy associated with that orbit. For the orbit n equals one, there are two electrons, and these have the lowest energy in the atom. The electrons in the next higher energy orbit, n equals two, have higher energy. In the Bohr theory, all eight electrons in this orbit have the same amount of energy. An electron in a given orbit can only have a fixed amount of energy, not more, not less. We say that the energy is quantized. While the electron is in this orbit, no energy is absorbed or emitted even though it is moving around the nucleus.